I do love you, you men. I'm going Yay. to consult Shadowheart. I'm going to consult my consolation prize. Something the matter. Oh, I just realized you could make Mentharo like essentially um, like have her mind? trust you immediately. Yeah. Instead of the neutral bullshit that admit, you're at. You've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between. I just watched her Besides, pick up a skull from the fireplace. The yeah. Why was there a skull in the fireplace? <laughs> <laughs> what bodies were you burning? The best ones. I'm having a roast without me. Some bullshit. We call it the roast of um, Catherick. The, um, one of the main quests we have to do, we have to go through this area. Hmm. Okay. Alright, I am ready, I am ready to stick close. Straightforward. Just keep going straight for now. God what me. should I say? Otherwise? Oh shit, we went the wrong way. Hold up, fuck. Son of a bitch. All Go right. back. I trusted you. <laughs> I trusted me too. Clearly my judgment was wrong. You're supposed to guide me, Mother Goose, not run me into my <laughs> brother's grim. My bad. Um... Let's fuck around and find out. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit, I fucked her up. I found out. You but gotta remember, these motherfuckers are basically always ready to parry. These bitches. Stop healing yourself. When was I prone? Who knocked me out? Last turn. Oh. Yeet. Now you guys have done fucked up. Ooh, honey ham. Delicious. <laughs> you horse teeth looking bitch. <laughs> Picked up some braces from the gith chick. Quickened mage hand. You can cast hands as bonus action. Strength saving plus one. Plus level five spell telekinesis. Mm. Isn't telekinesis where I can make shit like float with float, my mind? Yes. They're a creature yeah. or object with your mind. Hell yeah. Yeah. Can I throw myself? No. Not me, though. You should... Hold on. That's actually a really good question, Uni, because if you had telekinesis, couldn't you just make yourself fly? I want serious! This is the place that Shadowheart wants to find or some dumb shit. The hunter. Wrap up! Oh my god. Sorry, and you wanted to talk to him. Why are you all bloody? Our hero thought but a treasure ahead. Did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark, he went creeping and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave Are you fucking they Shakespeare? Dug, which he himself. He's talking in tongues! Set him ablaze! <laughs> Set him ablaze! No! I'm not afraid of the dark, a warning, no less. Great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping. Chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. I don't like him. I don't either, but Asarian wants to talk to him about something. Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. 
A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Is it here, Should Raphael? It's way out through the very door. I mean, I'll you can slob him my nose. That... <laughs> I'll give him the fact that he is attractive, but the oh, yeah. character truth, of himself. It is... I have a proposal of my own. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. Damn. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. My old... Well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. It's something of great importance to your master. But is it a love letter? A warning? Can you get to the fucking point? I was like, mission. why are you do being I like can this? Give you all the gory details. Because he's trying and to, I like, will. I think, trick Once the, the beast that lurks below mm. is vanquished and sent back to the hells. I hate you, Raphael. I hate you. Are you talking about so Asteria and what scars? I'm just quickly checking the area. Fish barrel. Say it's your body to Skeletor. My body will be ready when it's ready. Okay. <laughs> My body's ready. Seize the slayer form. My body was not ready. Okay. My body is ready. It's properly nuked like a microwave. Okay. Just brain a tadpole lives. Another present what? nurtures it. Manipulates it like a puppet. You plunder. You meddle. Yeah. You upset my plans. <laughs> Leave. Make me? No. Um. Zarel sent me. I'm here to help Bizarre. Three corpses sharing the same person who we were speaking to. I see she sent the husk of Minthara to accompany you. Uh, fuck Zarel you. Lacks imagination. Zarel lacks faith. Zarel lacks in many ways, but I do not leave before. <laughs> we're still close. She's in a jar on the shelf over there. Mm -mm. My creations need tending to. Not that it's any of your concern. This one's broken. He once tormented me as a youth lifetimes ago. Now he serves me forever. Damn. No rest for you yet. Mikhail. Talk about holding grudges. You will serve me until I am satisfied. Flesh will remain here until Cork. But don't fear. I now have flesh. He has very sharp hearing. I chose his ear. Where? Oh, where is Minthara? Minthara. Oh, jeez. There's my beautiful blue queen. Purple girl. Even when the faithful abandon them, sacred places do not lose their power. Be on your guard. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mithar. And, you know, that giant flesh gnome. <laughs> Good times. So, uh, you ever think about life <laughs> how crazy we just like deep moments <laughs> yeah it's like shower that you ever think about like opening a farm and just like living out the rest of your days on a farm like with some maybe goats and maybe some corn you ever thinking about training and riding horses <laughs> go riding across about... the plains yeah you ever think about just going to Baldur's Gate instead of just like continuing the adventure? Just be, just, just, you know, we we did kill a lot of people. We killed a lot of blacksmiths. What you ever think about just like becoming the blacksmiths that we killed? You know, just taking their gear and opening our own shop. 
Meanwhile, Astarian and Mintar are just like, what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> My game's trying to make me look up, up, up on Charles' skirt. Oh no. I feel like I just killed like 30 rats. Probably. Maybe more. Sup, bitch. That's my thing. Yeah, you've taken my things before. It's my turn. That's my thing. That's when I jump down from high places. Well, I did the opposite. I jumped up to a high place and stabbed someone. I did the opposite, you see. The meat is oozing. But not with blood. It's been dosed with a potion. Mm. If I sniff it or lick it again. Lick it. Stop licking it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Necro, stop. This isn't worth it, Necro. Bitch, it looks like you bite it instead of- Why are you eating it? Your guts cramp, your stomach- I'm in it, I'm Were it not so savage? <laughs> I feel like- Necro. What? I'm just saying try, but you don't need to check what? and try, I guess. We say one of them's going to work, the other two aren't. Okay. Because we, you and I already tried the ones we still have. Also, pair Minthara back up with you. I said Minthara, not your cat. Okay. Same thing. Why are you, why are you still, no, why are you still crouching? Don't worry about it. You don't have to be a silent bitch anymore, Necro. Why can't I be the spooky motherfucker? You can be the spooky motherfucker, but you don't have to I'm be spooky. the spooky motherfucker. Spooky! looks so this pissed off at him. This is the Dark Lady's domain! This is the Dark Lady's domain! Here. Simple. I followed you. It seems Shah still holds a grudge against General Thorn, and so sought to prevent me from entering in his name. Luckily, you were the perfect. I just agent realized to is his face like scarred into a reach. pentagram? Yeah. There is not a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> Without a shadow mind. heart of a doubt? Nya, 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 nya. Okay. He's not part of the battle right now. No. No, she's yeah. not. I do find it kind of cool that, like, you know, when she tried, like, walking towards him, the hands came up out of nowhere. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Wait, where did he go? Over to the right. He's over by the big dude. Oh, there he is. The destroyer. Jump to him and slam on his face hole. I Make him swallow you. Him anymore. What I can do is this. Pull out your Oni horse cock and slap him in the face. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't met to anything yet. Whips out cock. Damn. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? I sense more in you than you know. Whatever you think you know of me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. Asterion approves. <laughs> you took it out of my inventory, you bitch! <laughs>
That was not her heart, Shadow Heart. It was not. <sighs> there it is. True death at last. You are Shah's child after all. And I am. I am. It is done. Three? You have proven yourself. You have answered my highest calling. My chosen. My warrior. My dark justicia. No more hiding. Justicia. Let me show you. Let all see how you have served me, Shadowheart. And how you have been rewarded. Um. Your pain is now your power. Your pain is now your power. Wield it true. Who was that in front? But she's essentially now a siren. My charge must be cleansed. You shall be my instrument in ridding it of the impure. Then you shall take up the mantle as its new leader. First, hunt down the traitor, Ketherick Thorn. He shunned my embrace. He let my armies be slaughtered. He used my domain to safeguard his wretched life. But now, did her armor change? the night song, he's fun. I don't know. I don't think Ended it was gold like that before. In my name, Shadowheart. Let her outfit was not splendor. like that. Yeah, it was definitely not purple like that. Eyes forever. Once he is vanquished, Baldur's Gate awaits. Your holy work will continue there, where you first learned of my embrace. Take up my spear again and go forth. Let the cleansing begin. Let the cleansing begin! Yeah. Not as glad as I am. The long overdue death of Kethric Thorn. Lady Shah's church in Baldur's Gate has yet to be cleansed. A rot has set in amongst the leadership, one that I must cut out. Even once all that is done, more will be asked of me, no doubt. The holy work will not be done until the Night Singer's eternal darkness is restored. There is one other matter. As the Chosen of Lady Shah, it is time to carry myself like one. Devil forsaken plain, it died on. In the case of our friend Yergir, the Orthon you so handily dispatched in the Temple of Shah, he manifested in my house of hope. He returned to me chastened but intact. His wounds healed, his body restored. He thought I would dismember him. But he has his uses. So instead, I am re-educating him. We killed him we like we said devil. to. Now I want what I'm owed. We had a deal. Indeed, we did. I discovered all there is to know about those scars of yours. It's a rather grim tale. <laughs> Even for my tastes. Stop, stop. Make sure you know. Spit it out to the princess. I'd appreciate a little less enthusiasm when it comes to Cazador and his horrors. Oh, come, stop. We're about to unveil your destiny. You should be quivering in anticipation. I'll be quivering from something else. Carved into that ivory oh, skin of yours is one <laughs> part of an infernal contract between the archdevil Mephistopheles and your former master, Cazador Zar. In full. The contract states that Cazador will be granted knowledge of an infernal ritual so vile it has never been performed. The rite Shit. of profane ascension. Damn. He'll promise his vampiric spawn if he is to ascend. Oh, shit. Imagine how he felt. So essentially, Asterion would spawn die if he completed it. Into oh, the shit. Air. The only missing ingredient is Astarian. You 
are the final piece so i'm assuming everyone that has that like your um scars on the back it's not a tattoo set off a oh. wave of it those that scar is like embedded in his body twisted mm. it's infernal writing and essentially because he is not with Casador, Casador should, Casador no. would be already ascended. Me. I have oh, okay. elsewhere. But since Astarian isn't there, he hasn't had the right to ascend. Mm. Don't you dare talk Stay. to my twink! Casador is a piece of shit. Astarian, you're you're stop. Do you think it's so simple? Yes. We can't let Kazra complete the ritual. We're going for Tab of Horus. The end of my life amongst them. Just when I was starting to enjoy it. He'll never leave me alone. I didn't think he would when I was just one more wretched toy for him to play with. But if I'm the key Aww. to this power he craves, he'll have to now. the ends of Faerun. Yes. I need to take the fight to him. And yes. I need you to help me. You need me, Astarian? No, you need you, me. After we dealt with the tadpole problem, yes, I will help you then. Of course, I'll help you. I doubt we'll get him. Thank you. Of course, well, Astarian. Of course. Here. Here's, a t here's a tissue for your issue. I did not ask permission. When we first met, before Moonrise, I intruded on your thoughts without hesitation and took what I needed from your memories. I would not do that again, unless I had reason to think you were hiding something from me. <sighs> and I do not. I did not think we would ever share anything more than an uneasy alliance, born of our mutual enmity for the Absolute. I was wrong. A deeper bond has grown between us. I trust you. Aww. What she's saying is like that if you like another again. bitch, she'll fucking kill now you. My mind is my own. Oh, okay. <laughs> May I? Only if I can see your thoughts as well. Why the sudden interest in my thoughts? Do you trust me? I do you need No, respect myself. Of course. I do not hide anything from you. Until my time in the Cult of the Absolute, I had spent little time on the surface, except to raid and pillage. I did oh. not expect to find any outside the Underdark who saw the world as I do, mm -hmm. and wanted from the world what I want. Yes. I did not expect you. No one expects Necro until it's, it's too Necro late. It's Necro for fuck's sakes. <laughs> it's me! It's me! It's Necro! <laughs> Surprise! That my inherited privilege came with a cost. Yes, I'm flattered. That the bonds of fellowship and family could be broken by envy and ambition. I could not enjoy the taste of food for fear of poisoning. And I could not enjoy Aww. the company of lovers and friends because I feared they hid knives behind their smiles. Not me, Mithar. In spite yeah, of the and their backs. I was happy. I, I knew myself. And I understood the world around me. No. And now she doesn't. Nothing is certain. Without Lolth. Without the Absolute. Without my home. I do not know myself. But you do, I think. Show me myself through your eyes. Let me see what I am to you. <laughs> no. Your bitch. My bitch, no. The cold shell of Minthara's mind melts away, and you are drawn into the heart of her. Warm, passionate, and dangerous. I have oh. never lacked confidence, but this Dang. conflict seems so much bigger than the two of us. It frightens me. me too. I do not know if we will survive it, but whatever life remains to us, I would gladly spend it fighting at your side. Oh. And lying with you at night. You have no idea how amazing that <laughs> sounds and feels. That's like the words I want to hear in real life. I want a shield maiden by my side. God damn it. But unfortunately, Ride or die, bitch. 
Sadly, I can only get a ride or die bitch in a video game. Sag. <laughs> Sag. <laughs> There's nothing more. That would be a good. There's nothing more. Her mind touches yours, feather light and hesitant. A stark you know, although when you first meet her, she does seem like. In the past. She does to seem me, like just a big no bitch. Voices, no orders. But in reality, she's just someone who is just, like, brought into the world and forced to, like, be in a dangerous situation all her life. All the fucking time, yeah. Yeah. That's why I relate to her so much, is because I, I wasn't joking when she said, like, she's like me for real, for real. Because, like, that's essentially I was I grew up into, and then expectations and fucking so many different things and then yeah <laughs> time and time and time again to be put in like really close to death situations all the time i want to connect they want shadow bitch i will talk to them in a second oh my favorite traveling companion. Before anything else, I need to know where it's happening. Uh, to oh, the okay. public, That's fair. Casador is an ordinary noble. A little reclusive, perhaps, but just another of the great and the good of Baldur's Gate. Oh. He has a grand So he's a two-faced motherfucker. Where he hosts the city's oh, yeah. high society. I don't know if you perform the ritual there. It feels too public. It risks exposure. So essentially, Casador to the public is a great guy, but oh, yeah. on on the inside and behind closed doors, he's a massive prick. Yeah, he's a closeted fucking serial killer, basically. I know, subtle, isn't it? Oops, so because I am not striking another deal with Raphael. Who knows what he demand this time? But if the citizens of Baldur's Gate don't know anything. My brothers and sisters might. Casador is a master of secrets, but the other spawn must have seen something. For reference, he doesn't Don't. actually have brothers and sisters. It's just the yeah. other spawns. Yeah, no, I get that. Who had to, you know, grow close to essentially you survive. You wish to consult me? To join me. Admirable ambition. But you must make room for me first. Oh, there's always room for you, Midoran. Take Shadowheart's place. A paragon of wisdom. You better believe it. Your uh, own image. Why it she looks different. What do you think? I hate it. Not for me, but uh, just call her just call her beautiful and let's call it a day. I love it. Good. I did this for Lady Shah, for myself. So why are you asking I my opinion? You'd like it as well. Because she likes you, ish. K kind of. Fine. What's on your mind? She oh, is just, yeah. just going to be the same shit. Oh, Don't here we go. Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met oh. someone like you. Oh. Perhaps I never did. Oh. And never will again. Oh fuck. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is not the first time I've heard this in, like, life, but damn, it's so weird to hear every time. I hear her hair, like, I- Go back to the bangs! I could you just cover how, like, her head with something, now. You know how, like, um you see someone with a certain like hairstyle or like they have a beard or whatever for so long it's like oh they look really good with that and the second they change it to something completely different it's like who the fuck are you who are you you're not mine scratch hello you will receive the pets good boy yes i, think I still have his ball There it is. 
Fetch. Come here, my boy. Boy. Oh, he actually gets it for you. That was kind yeah, of cool. he brings it back. Oh. Alright. Anyways, leave camp. Dog. Surprising that everyone's just kind of okay with the evil. Why why are the evil homies so fucking wholesome? Because, they never well, told me the evil path was wholesome. They said it was bad. They said it was terrible. I was lied to. I was lied to. <laughs> Scratch requires your assistance, Uni. Hang on. No, I just fucking left. I'll be there in one minute. What's up? Able to speak through Aww, the small bag another coin in his mouth. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. Oh, it's a healing potion. I thought of you when I saw it. Thank you, Scratch. I will cherish this forever. Oh, you good boy. You are. Okay. Moonrise Towers. With the homies. Yes. Oh, so they're waiting for us. I, I see them waiting for us. Well. Oh. oh. They're not happy. Are oh they? no, they're not. The map immediately went red. Hang on, let me just oh equip my sword. Hang on, one second. Holy shit! They're not We're happy. Blind the Mister Shange. Oh yeah, she's very angry. Oh my god, look at them. They're like, oh my, yeah, wow. Okay, right, let's I'm not go. gonna move. Wait, 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 wait. I just want to get a good look at their face real fast. Okay. Holy shit, she is pissed. God damn, who's that lady? She's pretty, aww, oh, so sad that she's gonna die by my hands. Aww. <laughs> okay, let's go. Nice. Unfortunately, I don't have as many hit points as the creature. Mm. Yeah, you got which much of strength, it, though. Which I think is a little dumb. Yeah, I, I have a lot more strength, but... Hatch power! Nightshade! Meow! Wow. Little upsetting. I wanted to fight. I wanted to kill them in my form. Oh, he's running like a little bitch. And he's back. Oh, no, he's jumping back down. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you said something. He heard you. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me, bitch. May I approach the bitch? I mean, I approach the bench. Deadly order. He could fucking try, I'm Necro, bitch. I could take it. I'm like fucking that one dude, the uh, the destroyer from um, uh, Gardens of the Galaxies. I can, I can take it. Do it. Hmm. Thorn. I'm gonna rip out your eyes and steal your bitch. May the gods take you first. What just happened? My lord beckons me. Your lord, you huh? have no idea what you're meddling with. You're a pawn, a slave to forces you cannot comprehend. What are you doing? What is happening? Oh, I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pentacles. That's cool as shit, though. They make it look I so epic. Am the chosen, and you are nothing. Oh yeah. Follow. See. Oh yeah. This bitch. He thinks he's. Cool. Yes. Oh my god, that makes so much sense now. What? Oh, the tentacles in the wall. No. Well, yes, that. But also, like. The the flesh prison area I found myself in. Oh yeah, that makes more sense, yeah. Awesome. Stole banding. I am now Branding. attached to thee. 
I was branded. I was branded by Mathara, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Oh yeah! <laughs> ah day. You gotta stop ah daying this shit. You're gonna bone chill me? I'm gonna put my bone in you and give you chills. How do you feel? What does it do? What the fuck? Question is, what are you trying to do? What the fuck is this? What are you trying to do? Do you see my character right now? Yes, I see your mm -hmm. character, but what are you trying to do? Oh, okay. So it's concentrated blast. It's a psychic psychic conditioning, basically. Uh, it's a target is concentrated as the damage is dealt, dealt, basically. Well, do it. So then. I'm, I'm gonna shoot it at this man. Just shoots a laser beam out of her fucking head. Okay, that's kind of cool. All props to fucking Minthara just shooting lasers out of her head like that character from Avatar: Last Airbender. I'm gonna do the the feather thing just in case. Trixie, would you let Necro pet that dog? Ready to jump in? Trixie. <laughs> You ready to jump in? Yeah. Who the fuck is John Wayne Gacy? The whole yawns back at you. Uh, the killer clown guy. Wide. Oh. A single tentacle burrowed through stone. Why are you putting quote on quotes? <laughs> <laughs> Trixie. Mm. Wow. Very flushy, it's very juicy. The source of the infections. Yeah, it's thrashing its own head against its pod, cracking its skull again and again in a futile attempt to escape. You talk! How is that? Something must have gone wrong. Oh, but what an arresting voice you have. You're not supposed to be here, special one. That's not right. But I don't want to damage you. Oh, she's you cute. You were my very first, after all. Oh. I learned everything about the parasites from you. I remember finding you close to death. Beaten black and blue on the floor of this sanctum. It must have been a few hours after the tadpole was placed in your skull. How you got here was a total mystery. But I stitched you up just enough to keep you alive, then placed you within your crib. I kept you as mine until you were needed by our superiors. We had such a close bond. I opened you up endlessly with my scalpels and got lost in your insides huh i don't know how i feel about the most important work the nature of which i only heard whispers truthfully i'm not surprised to see you found your way back here all by yourself i always knew you were clever it has never been the same with another all the other victims who come here just meekly obey you thrashed. You fought. You were indomitable. But as special as you are, you shouldn't be swanning around here, acting as if free will is yours again. We're going to kill you, sweet one. Oh. But I promise I will stay with you afterwards. Lashes, bring this one back to my table. And prepare my knives for a long night of experiments. Okay, so I'm gonna kill you. Uh, I need to burst your <laughs> bubble buddy. 
Oh my god, you fucking asshole. Harry Henry attacked the stereo. <laughs> <laughs> you sure did. Is anyone else's tadpole squirming around a lot more than usual? <laughs> <laughs> Feels like something down here has them excited or scared. It's just a so casual thing to say. Does anyone else's tadpole feel squirmy? Extra squirmy. <laughs> but what of the astral prism? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. Sure. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. He looks After the most, like, daughter. out of place. <sighs> so you haven't lost your edge. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. Mm -hmm. Orin, baby. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. Of course, you find her cute. She's a fucking psychopath. He the murder I know. To Baldur's grave. Smash. Okay. Smash. If the Smash is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. And you have brought we the just pawn care. I will kill you now. Oh, okay. And then I will raise you as my servant. Okay. At least you're smart enough to use my fucking dead body as a servant, then I guess. Yes. Say farewell, Isabel. You're supposed to be dead! I'm grateful to you for bringing me home. I was a fool to resist. I know better now. Good luck in the City of Judgment. I wish you the best. Sincerely. She is dead. Be dead. My she Lord, is dead. I offer you these souls. You brought her yeah, back. Let me return as servants to your cause. No, I did not. Join the army Said he, the dead, not you. Soul. Witness Lord Merkel's glory. Like you. I am here. I think it's the second phase. I am ready. I am yours. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Technically, we didn't end him. Show yourself instead of talk all this big shit. Show yourself, peasant. Oh, you're some. You're just a fucking Skeletor, really? All that for that? Yeah. I want your scythe. You guys are really cool fucking scythe. Motherfucker has wings. Well, let's go, bitch face. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Why is my invisible self standing there? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Look at me. We killed the Grim Reaper. You, you, you perished. Impossible. Oh God! Death cannot take me. I am its master. He killed the Grim Reaper. Sure? Lord, hear me. Your Lord doesn't hear you. Nothing. I am forsaken. You said you were gonna betray them, anyways. You yeah, like the fuck you mean? You have What's all this praying for? No idea. It's not real. What you've done. Oh, I know. Isabel. I'm ready to do it again. 
Is Isabel his daughter? Yeah. Oh. Fuck him. Man, it is the elder brain you saw. Held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it. And these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an elder brain, to subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. I believe you fought and defeated an avatar of Merkel, the god of necromancy. A remarkable feat. Ketherick was Merkel's chosen. I know Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and a slaver. He is a worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me, but the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Yes. Which means the absolute is a front. They are nether stones imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The tyrant, the assassin, and the necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout I'm followers, the only necromancer the you chosen, need, baby. Granting them incredible powers. Each one of hope is a luxury for those who have a choice. This is the battle of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order, an order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, <laughs> but you must be the bits. But then there's Mandara. She, she's matching. How the fuck she's not? I think she's perfectly matching. I think we should go through this fucking hole now. Withers. I'm dumb. Um, I can't wait to sleep. Nadara, what the fuck? I will never tire of sitting on dead men's thrones. Okay, Nadara. My blood ran hot when we broke Catherick's bones together. Oh my god. But we have greater challenges ahead of us. It is clear now that he was not working alone. During my time in the cult, I came to know one of his co-conspirators all too well. Baal's blood letter, Orin. To think, I thought her to be speaking for the Absolute. I worshipped that woman. Oh. Damn, we all are connected, aren't we? You make it sound so simple. Oh, yeah. She is the chosen of Baal, Lord of Murder, and one of the cult's founders. Indeed, she is the one who indoctrinated me with the Absolute's lies. Unpredictable. If there is a way to turn this design towards slaughter, Rather than control, she will take it. She is the one who brought me to Moonrise and into the presence of her so-called God, the Absolute. Now I know that those memories are lies. 
There was no God. Orin held me down in a cocoon of flesh, while a mind flayer forced a parasite into my brain. And she laughed at my fear. I will find her. Oh, she did. I will murder her. And I will smile. I fucking love her. <laughs> Something I need you to explain. When we killed the tieflings at the grove, I was not in control of my actions. You do not have that excuse. So I ask you, why? Why kill them? A wise ploy, and it was successful to an extent. We did not find a cure, but we found our purpose. I Dwight. I am satisfied. Mm -hmm. Now, I constantly I am ready to keep leave this damn place whenever you get the white word. hair bitches. The city awaits. Is not fertile ground for such messages. I killed them and hanged their bodies in my garden. Nice. That girl yeah. loves a crazy bitch. Yeah. Who's? They really know. I would have picked prettier corpses if my intentions had been aesthetic. This was a warning against heresy. I was not content with the warning. This is the warning against heresy. I intended to wage war on their insolent god and the rest of its followers. Even as the flesh sagged and sloughed away from their eyeless skulls, their audacity infuriated me. I had to know where they came from. The lion, the witch, and the assassin. On my curiosity, overcoming my caution. Get you. But what came after the welcome as well? Catherine yeah. proposed an alliance between Moonrise and Menza Baranzen. I admit I was captivated by him. He invited me to the head of his table as his guest of honor. I was wary, of course. If I had been in his position, the food would have been poisoned. It was not the food I should have been wary of. It was the pale woman at the foot of the table. Orin the Red. We had barely begun to eat when she spoke for the first time. I only caught one word. My name. Then, quick as lightning, she climbed onto the table, a dagger in each hand, and skipped toward me. Slicing the throats out of my men as she passed them. A badass. Few things frighten me. Orin is one of them. Ketherick held me still. His hand on my shoulder, the grip tight enough to crack the bone. When Orin stood before me, she touched the dagger to my eye. Drawing out a tear of blood. I want this one, she said. Catherick nodded his permission, and I was taken below. Yeah. You've seen the horrors of the colony. Orin kept me there for days. She forced me to watch as my men were processed. Some for food, others as thralls. I understand why she was drawing fucking crazy now. God damn. In my eye herself. I deserved it. I was passive, weak, proud. You know the rest as well as I do. There were massacres before the grove. Religious communities, mostly. Those who refused to convert. Then there was you, and now there is freedom. Soon there will be vengeance. All right. Come on, come on. What are you hiding? Wait, what? Can you summon the dead? Anyone else can hear that? Can yeah. You, um, can you shut up and let me read? Why the fuck you? 
Oh, this is the scene I was talking about. No, stop it. I won't kill them. I can't. I won't. No, stop! Let me go! Ah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Necroviathan. If you've made it this part of the video, thank you so much for joining us on this passion project with Uni and I. And uh, we've been going on this crazy wacky adventure in Baldur's Gate with doing the Dark Urge and the darker characters and doing all these crazy cutscenes that we've just been finding back and forth. And uh, I highly suggest you guys try the Dark Urge playthrough if you have not. It's a lot of been a lot of fun. And um, with this project, it's been a passion project. We've been doing about 75 clips per episode, and we've been getting a lot of cool feedback from you guys, and we wanted to like you to continue, so make sure you comment down below all your romance interests or extra things you found or anything else, the feedback you want us to try throughout the next uh, acts, and I would love to see your guys' feedback because it's, it's a hell of a ride. Thank you guys so much for coming out to us, and... Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe and like, because <laughs> if you guys want us to grow, you want us to continue the videos, I I would really, really appreciate all those things. So thank you guys if you guys made it to this part of the video. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. So, yeah. See ya.